a very, very warm welcome back to, well, a video. I haven't done a video for a long time. Uh, university is over for this year, which means it's time to get back into the swing of things. And with the uh, Monaco Grand Prix just happening this weekend, or, well, yeah, just happened with this weekend, and Lewis Hamilton calling it the most boring race for for a long time, I thought I'd give my, I thought I'd ease back into the old video making and whatever by, by you know, trying my hand at some, some Monaco racing, one of the hardest tracks, um, and yes, maybe one of the most boring tracks. But we'll see if we can do some overtaking and maybe produce something a little bit more interesting than oh, well, there was this weekend. Whilst I also rattle off whatever comes to my mind as I'm as I'm flying around the track at 100 something mile an hour. Got some stuff to talk about, some news. Oh, there's a video. I didn't know there was a video. I've never actually highlighted over these one these long enough. But if we if we click this, we're going to pick who we want to be. Uh, I want to give myself a fighting chance. And as Red Bull won this weekend, I think I'm going to go with Red Bull. Uh, there you go. That's rather fitting, isn't it? So, unlike last time we did one of these, I don't think we're going to make it particularly difficult for ourselves, just because that is insane. It is, trying to trying to handle these cars or this game like this on a normal track is difficult, let alone on Monaco. So, I think we'll keep the, I think we'll keep the racing line on and traction control. I just, kind of, I just want to have some, some fun around here. Braking assist. Uh, no, we'll keep braking assist on, but we'll keep anti-lock brakes on. Um, gearbox. Uh, no, we'll do that ourselves. Um, we'll know if we have to go into the pits, something's gone really, really wrong. The track control can be on full, easy. Uh, and I want to set the AI drivers to hard. That's fine. That's fine. And that's fine. Cool. Right. And we're going to do... F we're going to do 5... Uh, let's do 25%. That should give us enough time. Uh, practice type, no, no practice or anything like that. Qualifying, there'll be no qualifying. We will be where we will be. And weather, well, let's do dynamic. I don't really mind. It'd be interesting if we got a little bit of rain. Uh, random, official. They'll do official. Uh, customized weather. Anything else you want to do? No, just be all random. Okay. Uh, I did not know you could do this. Look at that! You can have it go really fast, so it would be you could start in the sunrise and then almost in the sunset. Okay, All right. I'll see you in the race. Well, I think we've managed to get ourselves at the front of the front of the grid, which is nice because it means we actually have a fine chance of winning this. We're seeing for oh no, we are. I think okay, we're third. I need to remember how to do this. Oh yeah, it's the formation lap. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to do that. I'm not gonna lie. If you have to learn the gears once you're on Monaco, I think I think they haven't trained you quite right. Pass Braskas. Ooh. Yes. So we're easing ourselves back into the old video making. Um, it's been quite a while, I know, but I'm gonna do it in my usual style. I will just talk as things come into my head um, about what I what I'll be doing for the next few months or so while I've got while I've got a lot of free time. Uh, there'll be there'll be a mixture of videos coming out from well. There's a whole load of updates uh, in, a, in a few games that I've been playing, and a few old games which I, I've been uh, playing as well, which I, I'm very keen to, to bring back just for the nostalgic value, because everyone likes a bit of nostalgia, especially as there'll be news about uh, ooh, uh, the big companies bringing out older games as well, uh, the rumours from things like Modern Warfare uh, 2 Remastered, and uh, how that will compare with, you know, how the rumours will compare to what actually comes out. And then you got things like the up and coming uh, new Call of Duty game and Battlefield game, as well as uh, comparing those to some of the older stuff, uh, and then uh, usual updates from things like World of Warships and uh, yeah, and stuff like that. Right, so we are just coming up to our last corner now. We're still behind Rosberg. Oh dear, that was bad. And here, okay, so we'll be going up to the going up to the bit. Uh, up to the start finish straight now and line up behind them. It should be the strategy is just get past them in the first couple of corners, which means we might be able to win this without a fighting chance. I don't know how many laps we oh, okay, so we've got we P three of twenty two. I wanna know where my teammate is. Uh, I can't Oh. Hello, I don't know, I could do this. I still haven't got the newest uh Formula One game. I keep meaning to, but it's just it's just a lot of money for something that's very similar. I only got this because it was on offer. 
Especially as I'm a student now. That's my my <laughs> my favourite excuse for anything. <laughs> I uh <laughs> oh there you go. Ready and lights out and away we go. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get a drive. Oh. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Hmm. Okay, we'll try and do that again. Oh, bollocks. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh... So, typical Monaco start. <laughs> Let's see if we can do one lap. Oh, uh... Okay, I will... I'm going to let everyone pass. I can't get through now. He just ran me into the side. Okay, it's going to be interesting. I didn't think we'd get this started. I didn't think we'd start like this. I thought we were going to get right into the lead. But in fairness, it does make it, it makes it fitting for, for Monaco to have something like this. I think there's an 80% uh, an chance of some sort of safety car. Uh, this year, this year was a bit strange when we got all the way to the end uh, before there was a for an accident. I keep getting this, I keep getting this strange glitch where it keeps it keeps stopping for a moment, and I don't know why. Um, so if it's doing that on video, I do apologise. There's nothing I can do. It's just accident. It's also throwing me into the barriers at the moment as well. <laughs> obviously, we have to try and keep keep our uh, tyres warm. So we've got they. They're wondering if we want to do new strategies, so we we'll do that. I do like this from the from the older games. Being able to do a strategy it makes you more immersed. Ooh, okay. Let's get a nice. <laughs> the <laughs> I saw it. I also heard an interesting uh, statistic about the safety car driver um, who has led more races this year than any of the top three. Uh, as uh, the top, well, the top three: Vettel, Hamilton, and uh, ha and Ricardo have. Yeah, we're going to come in. Uh, have only re they only led two races, or, or one two. They've only won two races each. Um, and leading wise, the, the safety car drivers at the top. So it tells you how this how this is going on. All right, so they're changing our wing. Good, we'll have some performance. We're going to be ro we're going to be stone dead last. Oh no. Now it now it looks at it. Okay, twenty seventeen. <laughs> okay. Don't know if the safety car's still out. We have to be really careful not to cross the line. Otherwise we'll get <sighs> otherwise we'll get a fine. Or a or a something rather. Let's get some heat into these tires. <laughs> oh my god. He just haven't played this for a long time. It's just so bad. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, here we go. Back up here. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay. And coast it. That's fine. I don't need that bit of the wing anyway. I've got a puncture... Ah, uh, it's all right. At least we'll get ourselves a. At least we'll get a uh, almost a free pit stop if if the safety car comes in. It shouldn't affect us too much, even if we're at the back. Um, and if there's a time to have a have a problem with the tyres or anything like that, it is on this track. They shouldn't really be overtaking me. Well, I suppose they're allowed to. Ooh. We should be allowed to cut this corner because we are. Oh. No I can't believe it. I can't believe I just come out of the pistol when I've already been damaged. Anyway, I haven't even. Oh. I haven't even gone to things I was talking about. 
So the big news that I think, gaming-wise, since I've been away, is obviously uh, Call of, the new Call of Duty. <laughs> Once again, Activision is is chucking a game our way, um, and Triarch is is trying some new things. They haven't they haven't done a, uh, well, they haven't done a campaign this year, which is interesting because I haven't done a campaign uh, for since I have completed a campaign since Modern Warfare Three. So I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I know they're saying that. They're saying that they've spent more time to focus on other things, which is, you know, f oh hello, what are they give me? They give me ripples. Um, okay. <laughs> they're saying they're spending the time developing other things, but the problem I have with that is they're a massive studio, <laughs> and I don't necessarily think that they're telling the full truth on that. I think, oh, <laughs> oh well. Um, <laughs> Personally, I think is a bit of a cop out, saying, "Oh yeah, we've just we've we're not developed it." I think what it is is it's time to give the whole storyline of Call of Duty a, a break. There is, you know, it's no secret that the storyline itself is a bit naff. I saw a few comparisons between uh, World War Two and uh, yeah, could could World War Two and um, World at War, and I. The majority, of, you know, the majority of the comparison is that the, the newest ones are, well, are mundane and they don't have the same impact. And I, I tend to agree with them. I don't think, I don't think I have a, a reason anymore to play the campaigns because the campaigns are always the same. You have one bloke who is, you know, signed up by the army or whoever, some military group, and you have to make him survive the whole time. And at the end of it, he will destroy the guy who thought maybe you thought were a goodie, but maybe he's actually now a baddie. And as a result, you you know you then have some sort of medal of honor thing, and then that's it. <laughs> and that's not. I don't know anyone who just picks up Call of Duty for the campaign. It might have started out like that, but the the fact of the matter is, I think they're much better off saying, "Look, we're not doing it because no one wants it anymore," rather than saying something like, "Oh yeah, you know, we're doing it so we can focus on other things." Because <laughs> oh, that sign, that sign, the guy who puts out the sign on this track, I do feel really sorry for because he has to. They're doing it in one minute and eighteen seconds. Oh. What? Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I do I do feel sorry for the guy I have to hand. Oh, crikey. Glad I wasn't going to boss. Um. Uh, one minute and 18 seconds to, to change all the signage. You get really tired. But anyway, as I was saying, it, it, it puts more focus onto it, which means if they come back and. Uh, in November or October, wherever it comes out. And it's not as good as everyone's saying, and the battle royale gets old. Oh, don't! <laughs> I don't know. I have very mixed opinions on this battle royale mode. The fact of the matter is, it's just gonna screw them over because everyone's gonna be like, "Well, what's the?" <laughs> good. I, I really hope that we start the race soon because. Hey, stop it! Yo, I don't know which one. Ah! I don't know which one the first save, save time line is on where in this track, but anyway, it puts the focus on them, and if it does mean if they don't perform well, it will it will play badly because it means where have they spent all the time. All right, right. Uh, I was planning on. Right, how do I change my engine setting? Are we started? Oh, we're racing. Okay, let's see if we can catch up with them. Ah, here we go. Rich mix. There it is. Okay, which is surprisingly hard to do while you're actually driving. I do. It's amazing how they actually do it when they're when they're racing at full speed. Ooh. Even with the racing line, this is difficult. <laughs> okay, we're going to catch them down there. Okay, slightly late on the brakes and dive. Around the corner, the slowest of all the corners here, where you go down into first to get out of it. But yes, and then of course they are not only are they skipping out on the campaign, but they've said that they are giving a battle royale mode. <laughs> oh, oh, blow me! I'm really unlucky today with these punctures. 
yes, they're, they're deciding they're going to do a battle royale mode, which is um, yeah. The problem I have with the battle royale mode is, for me, it gets very boring very very quickly. It's the reason why. Well, it's the reason why I don't play Fortnite much anymore. It's because there is only so much you can do with it. The the, the development of it is is limited. At the end of the day, if you, the repetitive nature of it means that the re there isn't much reward. If the reward is always the same, I think what it, it loses its well, it loses its its, it's a gimmick and it, it loses its its appeal very very quickly. And that's not to say that if they don't do it well, you know, it'll be, it'll be very, you know, it'll be good. And it might well be good, but the problem is they're only developed, they're only developed one map for it. Um, the, the largest map ever in the world, or whatever they're saying. They're, they're, they're spewing out this, this, I don't know, this put, corporate nonsense of it being brand new and never been done before sort of stuff. Which, as we, as we both know, or as we all know, is, is rubbish because, I mean... <laughs> It started off with Minecraft Hunger Games, this um, Battle Royale mode, and now oh, I've got pine panels as well as I've got um, and and now all of a sudden everyone's everyone's producing it. Um, so you got a Battle Royale mode, which I will play a bit, and I'll probably find this fun as to begin with, and you know, and at the end of the day, it probably won't take away from the multiplayer, um, only because the multiplayer offers new things. I mean, they're saying they're gonna. Oh, I really need to stop slamming things into a. How have I... How have I already got a puncture? Oh well, I'm getting very... Actually, I want to complete a lap at some point. Um, yes, so... I don't... For me, I don't think it will take away at all from the... The multiplayer, because at the end of the day, the multiplayer system is... Well, I mean, I just don't care at this point. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, because it, it... The multiplayer gives you things like... For me, it gives you things like score streaks or kill streaks, or whatever they're going to call it this time. Um, at the moment, we call them bundles. Who knows? Um, and I think multiplayer is developed in such a way that there are so many combinations of everything that you get less bored. See, at the end of the day, battle royale mode is just an extreme version of. Oh, is this my tank penalty? Fair enough. It's just an extreme version of compound the matter. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna I'm gonna walk compound the matter. Um then every compound now. <laughs> yes, now we're on the ultra soft. We were on the super soft and we had the soft, now we're on the ultra soft. Okay, we're being lapped by everyone. Yeah, so <laughs> Oh no! I just changed it. Okay, here we go. That's so bad. It's very embarrassing. I will complete a lap. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, gentle out of here. Okay, on the brakes, on the brakes, on the brakes. And round the corner. That corner! <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Alright, fine. There you go. Come on. Come on. Thank you. God, see, I'm trying to get out of the way for other cars, and it's really going wrong. <laughs> yeah, so at the end of the day, you know, battle royale mode is just an extreme version of, of search and destroy. There will be, a, I assume, there will be some sort of objective to it. Um, they've said they're going to do different things. They they teased uh, people in rooms and and helicopters and other stuff like that. So. I won't do. They can't get past me here. This is just way too narrow. Oh. I think you're going to need a strategy of miracles at this point, mate. <laughs> um. Yeah. So I'll be interested to see if they do some sort of objective with it because I think that would make it better. I mean, a battle royale mode in which you actually have something to do other than just. Uh, just other than just sort of you know try and kill everyone else. This is a problem. Come on, get past. <laughs> um, I will do, but that's not very easy to do when I am actually as fast as them. Oh, I'm going to try and let everyone. Oh, that's nice. Well, I've just reached back to the pit, so let's go back in again. 
<laughs> Give another little bit of space. Yes, so it would be interesting to see if they stick to just regular regular battle royale mode or if they'll change anything because at the end of the day it, it just regular battle royale mode just there's no point to it because they could actually do something really cool with it. I mean a massive headquarters style system. But then as it as it did occur to me, what they are actually making is if they add you know, if they add some sort of objective vehicles and cut out the score streaks. Well what they've actually made is a battlefield. <laughs> and that's my worry with that, is they're just they're just copying another genre. Um, and it will just be a blatant rip-off, which means the integrity of Call of Duty will go down even more. And at the end of the day, it's, it's a fun game. I still, I still play uh, World War, even though oh, World War Two. Sorry, it's very confusing when you're using the same names. Even though it's very, well, it's a better game than I thought it would be, and it's one that I've enjoyed far more than I thought it would be. Especially as they're starting to release uh, maps for it for free. They released Valkyrie recently. Um, which is very interesting. It reminds me mu a lot of some of the older style games, um, especially with the ability to sort of. Um, <laughs> my God, I am, I am never going to complete a lap. This. Do you? Uh, yes. Um. Oh, this has just gone down the pot at this point in Monaco. It's much more interesting than the, the race this weekend, though. Nothing happened like this at all. Um, <laughs> well, apart from Ricardo's engines went, but uh, he still won the race, which tells you a lot about Monaco. If you have your two, 200 horsepower, 200 horsepower down, and you can still fend off every car behind him because you just can't overtake. Which is part of the problem, really. Right, straight back into the pits. Uh, they're gonna hate me on this season. I cost them. I swear I have a limited amount of tyres as well. They might not be able to replace the tyres at some point. Oh, we'll soon find out. Or I suppose. Oh, very nice. Nice new wing. I thought you only had a couple of new wings. Well done. <laughs> yes. So that's the. I think. the With the new Valkyrie map, which is, which is quite nice, that's how they're sort of extending it. And that's. I think the key to sort of extending the life of Call of Duty is the fact that they do keep releasing the same maps. And I know. I know many people get sick of these maps because the, the gun gameplay and stuff is the same, but at the end of the day, you can't change that. Now, with Battle Royale mode, as I was saying, because it's only going to be one map, you get bored of it very quickly. The, the, <laughs> there's nothing more to explore, and I don't think they're going to spend time releasing more maps. And if they do, and they say, well, we're gonna, you have to pay for it, well, that's... <laughs> I'm worried that they're going to make it, you know, they're going to monetize everything to the, you know, to death, which means... For a consumer like me, it just means I'm having to pay more money. I mean, what happened to the good old days where you just, <laughs> where you you pay thirty quid and you got the whole game, an entire game for thirty quid without having to buy the season pass, the map pack pass, the gun pass, and everything else you have to do. And then, you know, then to further customize your character, you have to buy cod keys in order to to unlock cod packages in order to get a hat, which your guy might or might not look good in. I digress. But on the other on the other flip side of that, you have of course I know I'm not racing the car behind, but I also am faster than him, so if he can catch up with me, ha 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 ha, then I'll let him pass. I'll let that caught up with me. <gasps> oh I completed the map. I completed the lap. Yes. Right, there you go, that's changed. Cool. Okay. This is the fastest lap we've done all right all, all great. Yeah, all race. The battlefield <laughs> is also interesting. Um, so they're they're going with the World War Two style, which makes sense. They've done Battlefield One, and they are calling this one Battlefield Five because you know going from one to five makes complete sense. I mean, I would have been slightly more happy if they called it Battlefield World War Two. Uh, that's kind of cooler. Or Battlefield Two, they could have stuck to the one two. I can't let them pass. This is Monaco. Oops, I just I just crashed them. Oh dear. Um, but it, wait, <laughs> oops, <laughs> I think I'm going to stick to plan A, <laughs> I don't know what I did either, <laughs> um, yes, but on the, on the bright side, I was just moaning about how, uh, most, 
a lot of companies at the moment aren't giving you the whole game. They have announced that all the all the map packs, there won't be a season pass or anything like that. It will all come for free, which is very nice because even back in Battlefield 3, you had to... I've got another puncture. <laughs> even back in Battlefield 3, you had to... Or I don't... I like to say that I also never played any of the ones before it. Um, and so I have no idea what went on there. But you had to buy the all the individual ones if you wanted the ocean. Uh, ocean maps or, the, or any of the other maps, so they're saying they're going to give it free, which is nice because there's been quite a lot of. I can't spend in pit lane, <laughs> but I'm driving through. <laughs> oh my god! If you disqualify me, <laughs> okay, we'll go. Why? Oh, I'm on wets now. I've got wet tires. This is going to be interesting. Okay, we're going to be so slow. <laughs> oh my god, we've run out of all the tyres and we're now on wets. Ooh, oh, I'm going to have no grip. <laughs> I don't think... Alright, there you go. Yes, so... <laughs> huh? Oh no, it's so bad. Um... I didn't even do anything that time, I just braked. Yep, we've gone. Ooh. Aye aye, we're going back in. Okay. We're, we're trying to get 7th position. Yeah, exactly. How dare you cut me up? But, um, yes, yeah, so they said, they said to us... <laughs> oh, let's try the new one. Just put... That went a little bit wrong at that time. Uh, <laughs> this is so bad. I've never... I haven't driven like this for a long time. It's because I've never played this for a while. Let's see if we can get around this corner. We have to concentrate to get around the corner. Okay, and in. Perfect. Okay. So, Battlefield... Battlefield 5, which is confusing. I want to call it Battlefield 2. I can't get the 1-2 out of my head. Um, I just wish they would stick to one numbering system. <laughs> Okay. I'm coming in this map. Perfect. Yes. Um, so it's nice that they're giving everything for free, uh, which makes me more inclined to buy it, especially as Battlefield 1 got very boring very quickly. Um, and it's very hard to say why, actually. I, I, I found it very boring very quickly, and I've gone back to... I've played uh, Battle, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 quite... I can't get around this corner of these tires. <laughs> uh, I've been playing Battlefield 4 and Battlefield uh, f 3 quite recently. And to me they had so much more replayability. And I think part of it, it to, for me is to do with a lot of the, the mechanics of the gameplay. The What I really am looking for from... Oh, I can't get around this corner. <laughs> oh my god. What I'm really looking forward to this um, in the summer coming games, or I'm hoping they change, is the is the direction they're going with these oh, I'm on the intermediates uh, not full wet sorry is is what is the dynamics with the with the vehicles because it makes so much more sense to find one on the I'll do it this this lap uh, it makes so much more sense to to run up to them and get into them or or you know have into the vehicles rather than select them from that sort of I can't even remember from the sort of that menu thing that they they try to make you do, and and also the gameplay as well with them is it feels so much more arcadey. There would be people, you know, you spent hours on Battlefield Three and Battlefield Four, getting the 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 feel of the aircraft and becoming, you know, masters of of shooting everything. Have I got have I got a front? Yeah, I think I do. Um, I think I do. I didn't see them put one on, and if I have infinite supplies of those, um, becoming masters of aircraft and stuff like that, just because um, it was so fun to do that. I might get disqualified from this race. Oh well, it doesn't matter at this point. Oh, oh, oh. Obvious. That was obvious, actually. And now I think about it, it was obvious. This. 
there is an irony to the fact that these more grippy tires have less grip on this track. <laughs> um, so I, I'm really hoping that what they make the they make the, the basically the gameplay. For I'm disqualified. Yeah, I'm really hoping that this time they will make the. <laughs> oh my god, the whole system less uh, less arcadey because for me. I know I loved flying the helicopters. I was always about the helicopters and that sort of stuff. And I know this isn't applicable for World War Two, but you know, especially for the aircraft, I love flying the aircraft and the helicopters. And you know, spending time getting them all right. And and that is something that was completely lost in Battlefield One. They had in Battlefield Four. <laughs> and with the compet with the competition coming from Call of Duty as well, and perhaps this Battle Royale mode, it means that there'll be more scrutiny. Over the new, over the over the new. System. What is all this guff at the end of this game? I haven't seen it before. We're going to restart it. Yes. Right. We're going to do better this time. And we're going <laughs> to. Um. Okay. Are we ready. Oh my god. Fair enough. Okay. So. Um. Yes, yeah, so making it less arcadey, I think it would make it appeal to all those Battlefield fans. Because to me, when when I was thinking about you know playing Battlefield, the argument was always yes, but if you want a slightly more, I would, I'm hesitant to say realistic, but I'm 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 going to use the word for in, in sort of a loose sense, a slightly more realistic sort of gameplay experience. You play Battlefield, the you know where there'd be bullet drop and you'd have to get to feel of each sniper use or you know you could put down a, a light machine gun and basically spam this and that and no one had a problem with that view camping because it was a completely different community um, but in becoming so much more commercial in Battlefield 1 they, they did lose that that element of hey look this is you know the realistic side of it there isn't any kill streaks or anything like this you want a helicopter go fly one you want a jet go fly one Boats, you know, are, are destructive and, and fantastic, and that is that is the key, I think, to to why Battlefield was so good. And if you play the new uh, Star Wars Battlefront, that arcadey style feel is 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 come through from good. I've got a puncture. Has actually come through from uh, the battle, the the new style in Battlefield, and I don't like it. You know, nothing would be cooler than having a fully functional, you know, being able to do spins and, and barrel rolls and, and all that sort of stuff in a in a TIE fight you're trying to defend off, you know, someone in, in an X-Wing or something. And so it, it's confusing that, that they've decided to make it so much more... I don't know, they've reduced the learning curve to the point where I don't find it rewarding to learn. And there'll be nothing cooler than... You know, flying in a uh, take the helicopters in Battlefield Four and and Three, <laughs> getting getting a proper helicopter, you know, and with your with your mate as you, oh, has he got me a bit? Oh, take my stappen. Oh, gonna get him here. Oops. Um, getting in with your mate and you hovering over the the enemy and basically just you know ripping them to shreds because you could you know hover properly and and duck out of the way of missiles and that sort of stuff and they've, they've lost that so although Battlefield 5 looks good and they're offering all these free map packs I want them to become less arcadey I don't understand why they, they insist on losing the the realism or the you know that that special we're not Call of Duty you know sort of that essence that they had originally. So, and I, you know, there will be betas and whatnot, and we'll be able to. That was, that was just stupid driving. By. And there will be betas that come out, but I think again, they're they're doing that thing where you have to buy the game first in order to play the beta, which I'm sorry is just absolutely is just so stupid. Anyone who's willing to buy the game does not. <laughs> uh, that's why I can't go fast because my. Because um, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna pit in again, but luckily we haven't got puncture anything like that. Because driving into me is a little bit silly. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they've they've just they've lost their essence, and although they're giving away these games for free, I think or the maps for free, which they should do anyway, because because let's face it, anyone who buys the anyone who buys the game immediately is. is it's not worried 
about the beta system. The beta should be given... Let's see, we haven't lost anything really here. Uh, the beta should be given to anyone for, you know, for free, because I feel like that really does encourage people to buy the game. If you want to show how good your game is, it's you should give it the, the beta for free. And, uh, you know, it, little warning flags come up when, you have, when I actually have to already commit to buying the game and yes I know that the argument is oh well you know why don't you just return it if you don't like it and like to matter it's I don't I don't want to have to I don't want to have to sort out returning posts and packaging and all that sort of stuff because a company couldn't show me that the game was good before I purchased it and if the beta is very very good then I will buy the game accordingly so it just it doesn't make sense to me why they why they're doing like this because as I say the com you know if you're committed enough to buy the game without playing it then you the the beta is just a sort of hey look play your game a little bit early and then you can't play it again for a while <laughs> and it's not what a beta is all about you know there are betas on i think betas that i think on like steam on on pc and stuff are are, are much in a much better way uh, and you know and with with you know people at activision playing so closely with with sony even if it was a playstation plus exclusive thing so you could only play the multiplayer that would be that'd be fine by me oh we got a puncture oh we got a puncture damn it so we have battlefield 5 which i'm hoping isn't as cartoony but i hold a hope the 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 setup they did for the announcements oh these announcements these two hour long keynote things everyone's doing them now i don't care enough for a video i don't care enough about a game for that sort of stuff why don't i just announce it could you imagine if some like kerbal space program had a two hour uh a two hour conference to show its update it just drives me nuts and plus i don't have time to watch it especially with you know doing university stuff it's just it's just ridiculous so you've got battlefield one uh battlefield five or two whatever you call it. i think it should be called two still which is, which I'm holding up more hopeful than I think uh, I am for for Call of Duty, which I hope is less cartoony, and they bring back the the. Well, they bring back the the essence of it, and you've got Call of Duty, which is trying new things. So also they're having five v five instead of six v six. That's going to be interesting. I don't actually think that's necessarily a bad idea, especially if you have very close quarters maps. Um, it means you're not running into someone every couple of seconds, which can drive me a bit nuts because it means I can't even blink without someone killing me in a femtosecond because their gun fires a laser. Uh, <laughs> uh, they've gone slightly more futuristic again, which mm, they're saying it's more boots on the ground, but yeah, I doubt it. So I'm a little bit hesitant to back that. Zombies looks cool, as it always does, but that's just zombies, nothing to expect. So nothing different to Call of Duty. And then you've got, uh, and the last thing I'm going to sort of touch on is, is World of Warships. I will be playing a little bit more of that. The new cruise line will be coming out soon. I think update 0.7.5, which is the American cruiser changes. And if you've seen my other games, if other uh, videos on World of Warships, I was just not looking that. <laughs> I actually need to watch when I'm driving. Uh, this is the downside of recording something as I'm as I'm playing it. I gotta really concentrate. Okay, here we go, left. Um, Wait. No. <laughs> We're just going to drive back to the bits. Sorry. Um, oh, yeah, because uh, you're not allowed to mix and match tyre sets, so you actually have to... They have to only have a limited amount. But, um, yes, yeah, so the next patch, they'll be upgrade, updating the... I think the American cruiser lines. So there'll be a split between light and heavy cruisers. So, for example... The, something like the Pensacola, I think it's going to be tier six, and uh, the and the uh, which was originally tier seven, that's a heavy cruiser, and the light cruiser such as the Cleveland, that's going to go up to tier eight. I have uh, I have the Cleveland. I'm not sure whether or not I will keep the Cleveland because it was tier six when I when I grinded for it, um, and whether or not they'll let me keep it is another one i don't know i have i've been trying to find out about that i think the answer is if you had it then they will let you keep it so i will be doing a, a video on all these changes um and i will be going up to whatever tier i can on both of them i don't have the time nor patience to grind out two different thank you for that grind out two different I'm getting loads of punches to grind out two different uh cruise lines especially when i'm going for the british system as well um but I will do as uh, best a video I can on that, explain the changes and whatnot. There are huge amounts of changes. I'm getting crashed left, right, and centre. We're never going to win this race. And um, another nice surprise for me was uh, they gave me the 
the premium USS Texas for free because uh, Twitch Prime. As a student, we get free uh, Amazon Prime, which is very nice of them. Uh, I mean, it just means Amazon gets more money from us, which is fair enough. Um, and with all the, the Prime loot, so I came, uh, I got uh, USS Texas for free. So when I came back, I had a nice surprise waiting for me. And there was some other cool GT loot as well I got as well. But um, so. Uh, it's nice to actually get something of relative monetary value because the USS Texas does cost real time money or real life money, you actually have to pay for it. <laughs> so it's nice of them to give us something that is actually worth something rather than just a loot box or something like that. I'm just going to let all these people pass. So I will be doing some Call of Duty gameplay, I'll be doing some Battlefield gameplay. I'm going to bring back some of the older Battlefields and some of the older Call of Duties, I think. Uh, and we'll obviously be doing updates for anything, uh, sort of World of Warship style, that sort of stuff. And anything else I, I, I fancy because we've got some time to make some make some videos. And as once again we drive this poor car, I would not get the drive from Red Bull, back to the pits. I think we're gonna end the video here. It's only taken us two races to do, uh I think I think we're on twenty laps I think in total now. But I do hope you haven't hated my ramblings as I've been rambling on about whatever it is. Uh, I can't even remember now. All the new things that's coming out. Uh, I will be back and making videos relatively regularly whenever I can. So thank you very much for watching. And goodbye.